love is in the air, and sometimes searching for the right gift for your sweetie can be stressful. We asked the experts at Holtz to weigh in on the levels of love. You know, Valentine's Day can be a bit tricky because you've just met somebody. Yeah. You don't really know if this is going anywhere, how familiar you can be. You don't so, want to spend too much either, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Know. So what I would suggest is something like a really great handbag for her. Red nails, you know, nail varnish, lipstick, something that's sort of non-committal. Mm -hmm. Great socks, you know, fun socks for a guy, but nothing too sexy mm -hmm. and nothing too personal. Yeah, don't get a red thong. No. <laughs> you know, no, no, no one wants no, to receive no. that. It's been a couple months. It's going really, really well. Okay. You're in that crazy, all you can have are eyes for each other stage. Yes. Then I think the thong would be kind of fun. Okay. So we got a package of three from Hanky Panky. I love these. You know, then you can go for something a little more personal, like fragrance. The Tom Ford one is great because men and women can share I it. love that. And then there's the next step. Okay. Where you've been together a long time. You might want to reignite a little bit of that spark. A little bit stale. A little stale, a little or little maybe stale. you're not having such a great time. Okay. And that's where, you know, you can have fun. Get some really cheeky lingerie. Get something that you'd like to see them in. Maybe if your guy needs a bit of spiffing up, great pair of boxers for a guy, and I think that's safe and it's fun. For more gift-giving advice, log on to eonline.ca.